So we're about to see the Air Jordan White Thunders officially released with a retail price tag of $215 for the adult pair and it's going to be available in full family sizing and in today's video I'm going to talk about this release a little bit. I'm going to give you guys like my thoughts and opinions on it and sort of what you should expect to see on release day and towards the end of the video I'm going to give you some resale predictions. Guys, I'm on that road to 15,000 subscribers and we're not that far away, like 400 and change. We're gonna get there very, very soon. But at 15,000, I'm doing a major giveaway for you guys where I'm giving away any sneaker in any size up to $500 in value. Winner's choice I'm gonna be doing on one of my live streams that I do on Friday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you guys can help me get there if you're brand new or you haven't yet already subscribed to the channel by tapping that subscribe button, hitting that notification bell. And if you've already been rocking out with your boy for an extended period of time, the best way that you guys can support me is to hit that like button and to share these videos out so we can be put in front of more people and we can hit that 15K and give away that sneaker. Now we're about to see the Air Jordan 4 White Thunder officially released. And this release is a little bit intriguing to me because it's an Air Jordan 4, probably the most popular Air Jordan silhouette. And we saw some success with like the whole Thunder thing. The Red Thunders, those sold really well. Matter of fact, if you look out on the resale market, those sell for like a good amount of money, even in today's economy. Like those still go for a decent amount of money, which is kind of surprising to me a little bit. Now the Yellow Thunders, those ones not so much, but those restocked and restocked and restocked and restocked. There was a lot of pairs of those, way more than the Red, you know, the Red Thunders ever were. And when it comes to this release, the early rumors that I was hearing was like around 150,000 pairs in the men's sizes. And that doesn't really sound like a whole lot for an Air Jordan 4 release. And I don't necessarily know if I believe that. I feel like this release is going to have a whole lot of pairs. And if you remember not that long ago when the Wet Cements released the Paris Air Jordan 4s, you know, it appeared like those sold out like fairly quickly, right? And the Nike Sneakers app sort of hit us with that okie doke because like two days later they hit us with a restock. And then they hit us with another restock and then they hit us with another restock. Now, this White Thunder, you know, it's being tagged as the quintessential like back to school sneaker it's black and white i mean it's a nice looking shoe and i feel like because of the attention that air jordan fours get obviously the thunders have been a successful kind of a series for jordan brand right now i feel like these are going to sell pretty good but i would probably be sort of wary you know as far as like rushing out to get them because i feel like there's going to be a ton of pairs i do feel like we're going to see restock after restock after restock of these i feel like this is really the back to school sneaker right this is the one everybody's gonna get for their kids you know grab for the personal and things like that so i do think the sneaker is gonna sell fairly well but i do think there's gonna be a ton of these out there so you know maybe if you don't have the money right now you know and you want to wait it out i do feel like you're gonna have a great chance to pick this up sooner or later one thing that i've sort of been preaching a lot in my videos and especially on my live streams when i'm talking to you guys one-on-one -on -one, is like the whole patience being picky being choosy about the sneakers that you're picking up because if you look at the release calendar you know the last half of 2024 is loaded with a bunch of bangers and then we're moving right into 2025 with the heat and then, and then in 2025 jordan brandon is releasing a ton of sneakers that let's face it guys a lot of them are grails for us we've been waiting for them to come out for a long long time and they're basically jamming the whole entire year with like some must-have kind of sneakers so you know one thing i've really been kind of stressing is sort of you know making decisions on what you're going to be copping right and when it comes to these white thunders for me I like them. I love Air Jordan 4s. I mean, it's really, really hard for me to pass on an Air Jordan 4, especially one in a great colorway like this one. But, you know, when I look ahead at the release calendar, I, you know, see that they're dropping the Air Jordan 4 Fear, which is a very similar kind of a sneaker and a similar kind of a colorway. Now, for me, the Air Jordan 4 Fear is a must cop. I've wanted that sneaker for years. So looking at this Air Jordan 4 White Thunder, you know, I'm asking myself, do I need that? Do I need both of them? You know, because if you cop both of them, that's like $500, you know, if you cop White Thunders and you cop the Fears, you're spending about 500 bucks or so, you know, on those two sneakers right there. So, you know, for me, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm going to cop these White Thunders. It's going to be really, really hard for me to pass on the shoe because, dude, I love my fours, man. I love them. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to say this is an easy pass for me because it's not, but I'm going to try really, really hard not to cop this sneaker so that I can maybe cop one or two pairs of the Fears whenever they come out. So I don't necessarily feel like I need both. So, you know, with everything coming up, I feel like we got to make decisions. And this is one of those decisions that I'm struggling with right now. 
Now, when it comes to the resale predictions for this shoe, you know, I mentioned the Red Thunders a little bit earlier in the video. Those are reselling for a good amount of money, which, like I said, is surprising to me. Um, especially in today's day and age in this economy with the way that a lot of sneakers have tanked that one's still you know holding pretty steady out on the resale market now the yellow one's not so much and these white thunders i mean unless they are really limited right which i don't really feel like that's going to be i don't necessarily feel like this sneaker is going to cost you you know a decent amount of money out on the resale market i feel like there's going to be a lot of pairs of these i feel like these are going to be readily available and because of that fact i don't feel like these are going to be like a three or you know 350 400 shoe you know i feel like we'll have you know maybe in that like 250 range you know and 215 is retail so i don't necessarily feel like you know when it comes to resale predictions you know we're going to be missing out or paying more anytime soon for this shoe i would probably say this sneaker is gonna be comfortable in like that 250 to maybe 260 ish range you know some of those odd sizes that are bigger you know those may go for like 300 bucks or something like that because you know there's not a lot of like size 15s and 14s and 12 is the money size so maybe that's always a size that you go after no matter what but you know if you wear any other size i kind of feel like you're gonna be good you know if you just don't pick it up right now i mean there's even a small chance there's even a small chance that these might go for retail or maybe even slightly below retail if they hit us with enough pairs. I'm not willing to go that far to say that these are gonna go for below retail, not at this current time. You know, if I see a whole bunch of these released, you know, I may come back with a different opinion here in a few days or something like that. But as of right now, I do feel like they'll go for, you know, above retail. And, uh, you know, I think they'll be definitely obtainable but I don't necessarily feel like you gotta run out and grab them. I feel like these will restock and restock and restock and restock. So even if you just don't have the money right now or you're saving up for something else, maybe like those Kobe nines or something else, you know, I kind of feel like you can wait on these and still get them for a halfway decent price. But let me know what you guys think. Is this Air Jordan 4 White Thunder, is it gonna be a must cop for you? Is it a pass for you? Are you like me and sort of just waiting this out? You know, trying to cop the Air Jordan 4 Fears instead, you know, something along those lines. Or, you know, is it just like one of those sneakers you got to have because it's an Air Jordan 4 and you love 4s? Let me know down in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, I appreciate your time. All the attention you guys show me and especially all the support. You guys have been killing it on my channel. We just got a whole bunch of subscribers. Uh, we've been going live. We've been dropping videos, man. And you guys have been supporting every single time I drop something. So salute to you all. I love you guys. I really, really do, man. You guys have just been awesome. And uh, you listen, I'll see you guys in the next video real soon. You guys stay safe out there, you know, and just be careful and, you know, just stay safe. And I'll see you guys real soon. I'm out. Peace. For more sneaker content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.